Luck be a lady tonight. As the famous song goes from the musical Guys and Dolls and even famously sung by Frank Sinatra, these folks, however, should be grateful luck showed up at all. We're talking death-defying. These people were insanely lucky. And what's worse is sometimes we don't know how lucky we are until we see it on film splashed all over the internet. Let's face it, shocking, scary, and downright hilarious clips of good fortune at work, it's always entertaining. This is 15 Luckiest People Caught on Camera. Since the very first simple but successful photograph was taken using a homemade camera in 1816, and with the advent of capturing movement on film and eventually on our devices digitally, photographers have longed to capture moments like this, cause it's a yikes moment and even a little disturbing. Does this thrill-seeking person who appears to be on an obstacle course know that his safety cable is no longer attached? How lucky is this person that the cable detached after a dangerous gap in the course? Can this person even complete this challenge further without it? Let it be a reminder to everyone to double check the safety line because, well, safety first, but it's also thrilling to watch and to imagine the possible outcomes. And even though it appears he's high up in the clouds, he might only be a few feet off the ground. Not so exciting there. But having footage is actually important. Whomever attached the line to this person's back could be responsible for putting people at risk, or perhaps the clip could reveal limitations in the safety gear. There's a lot to unpack here, don't overthink it. The Full Court Buzzer Beater Rule the school, sink the ultimate bucket. This high school basketball player delivered one of the most unlikely and mind-blowing endings to a game you could imagine. The Minnesota student's last-second toss of a missed free throw sailed over the length of the basketball court and into the basket in the last second, lifting the visiting team to a miraculous 56-55 win in one shot. Victory had appeared all but a handshake away for the Raiders when the Northfield players went to the line for two free throws, a 55-53 lead with 1.6 seconds left in the game. It was assumed that the game was in the bag, but when Northfield missed both shots, the player with all the luck in the world grabbed the rebound and instinctively chucked the ball roughly 80 feet towards the team's basket. Swish. Or what about a Louisville, Kentucky basketball player who got it done for his team, if only temporarily? Down 55-52 in a regional semifinal game against Crosstown rival, the senior forward grabbed the rebound and launched a full-court shot attempt at the buzzer. Blammo! He sunk the ball, forcing overtime. They still ended up losing, but so what? Winning isn't everything when you can shoot like that. The Skydiver and the Meteorite When a meteorite enters our Earth's atmosphere, it slows down and ionizes molecules around it. That blazing track across the sky is called a meteor. When the light disappears, the meteorite enters the stage called dark flight, basically a freefall from the sky. The lucky skydiver narrowly missed this exact random event as a dark flight meteorite sailed past him. Wearing a wingsuit and with two cameras fixed to his helmet, he released his parachute. I got the feeling that there was something, he explained, but it didn't even register in that moment. Immediately after landing, he looked through the footage and something that looks like a stone hurdles past him in flight, clearing him by only a few feet. Although some are still not convinced that it was indeed a meteorite that flew past him, the experts are in no doubt. The shape is typical of meteorites, a fresh fracture surface on one side while the other side is rounded, says geologist Hans Amundsen. He explained that the meteorite had been part of a larger stone that had exploded perhaps 12 miles above the skydiver. In this case, it may be a breccia, a common type of meteorite rock. It's never happened before that a meteorite has been filmed during dark night. <laughs> Mary Graham's Diamond Ring Sometimes luck is simply waiting for you in your backyard. You won't believe this, but a Canadian woman found her diamond ring lost for 13 years, wrapped around a carrot in her very own vegetable garden. It started back in 2004 when Mary Grams was weeding on her farm and she noticed her diamond ring was gone, a gift from her husband she had been wearing on her finger since 1951. Feeling embarrassed, she didn't even tell her hubby and went out and bought a slightly cheaper replacement ring and carried on as if nothing had happened. No one was the wiser for years until her daughter-in-law decided she wanted some carrots for supper. The ring was wrapped around the carrot when she picked it. She now lives on Mary's old farm, so when she went to harvest vegetables in the garden, lo and behold, she spotted the ring while washing an unusually shaped carrot. Her husband instantly knew it was his mom's and he called her. We can only imagine how happy she was to get that phone call. Looking back, 
Mrs. Graham said she wishes she had told her husband, who had already passed upon discovery, but she says he would have found the lucky discovery very funny. <laughs> Guy dodges falling concrete. Overnight ice rain and north winds turned Vladivostok, Russia into a frozen hell. However, a guardian angel must have been watching over this lucky guy. He cheated a horrific death by a matter of inches when a giant chunk of concrete plummeted 100 feet from the top of a high rise and crushed his car. The 27-year-old, named Alexander, was scraping ice off of his car in the Russian port city when the freak accident happened. In that city alone, 900 blocks of flats were left without electricity, while elsewhere in the region, 120,000 people reported problems with heating, light, and water. Flights were delayed, many roads and several bridges were shut down. Schools and kindergartens had to close. The moment caught on closed circuit television showed Alexander, after a quick glance up, leap out of the way with a split second to spare. A part of the building crashed through his car. The married father of one said that a moment before it happened, his wife had gone upstairs to get some hot water to help remove ice from the car. Clearly a guardian angel was looking out after them both. Later, the fortunate driver posed with a celebrity bottle of beer in honor of his harrowing escape. The Lightning Man It may seem weird for someone to collect broken watches, but when you find out why, you'll understand. Melvin Roberts has a collection of broken watches, all showing the exact times he was struck by lightning. In fact, Melvin and his wife Martha are convinced lightning just comes looking for him because he claims he's been struck 11 times. Scientists, however, say that's impossible. Yet, the 62-year-old man from Seneca in South Carolina claims that lightning has struck him in the sunshine while driving a bulldozer, once while standing on the front porch, and twice while mowing the lawn. For starters, now keep in mind, up to a billion volts can charge each lightning strike. Lightning can be four times hotter than the surface of the sun. So clearly, not many people survive it. And experts say lightning strikes are becoming more common as the world warms, posing enormous challenges to everyday life, how we travel and respond to weather. But there's a lot they still don't understand about this astonishingly powerful natural phenomenon. They say lightning never strikes the same place twice, but it's possible to strike the same person 11 times? The luckiest village in Spain. El Gordo is the name given to the oldest lottery jackpot in the world and the richest. Held every year in Madrid, Spain, it culminates with the picking of the El Gordo number, Spanish for fat one, which for many is the true Christmas miracle. 70% of all Spaniards play to win. People visit psychics and fortune tellers, desperate for the winning number. And in 2018, an entire village won the Christmas lottery jackpot, an $876 million prize. The village of Sodeto in northern Spain was a remote, unremarkable farming community. Unemployment was high and most of the farmers were heavily in debt. El Gordo proved to be a miracle, however. In Spain, a lottery retailer typically sells just one or two specific numbers for the popular draw. This means that it's very common for all local lottery players to share the same number. This is more than 100 million euros flooded into the lucky village. More winners invested in their farms and paid off their debts, and the craftsmen and construction workers had plenty of work too, since many of the lucky winners indulged in long overdue home makeovers. The Three-Way Dollar Tie it's pretty hard to get $1 on The Price is Right's Showcase Showdown, but on the 2016 episode, all three contestants spun $1 on their first run. By the game's rules, they all won $1,000 and a bonus spin for a chance to win $25,000. For the show's sake, it whittled the contestants down to one to go on the showcase. The three contestants each landed on spaces adding up to $1 in a pair of spins during one of the show's showcase showdowns. The first contestant to spin was Catherine, followed by Manfred and then Jessica, each landing on the $1. And in true Price is Right fashion, they all danced when they won. Host Drew Carey pumped his fist in the air after the contestants achieved the first three-way $1 tie with different combinations in the show's history. I don't know if that's ever happened, Carey said, before the win was verified as one for the history books. Well, it had, back in 1991. Two contestants spun a dollar, and then the third got a 30 followed by a 70, all three the exact same total. But still, after the bonus spins, it was Manfred who came out the big winner. He scored the highest number in the spins and went on to win a car and a cruise. <laughs> the 
impossible hockey shot. If you want to win the big prize, you got to make the shot. It's a surefire hit game at carnivals and sporting events around the globe and almost always nearly impossible to achieve. And the prizes are often big ticket items like vehicles sponsored by local dealers. But rarely does anyone actually make the shot. The video shows the hockey version of the age-old game. While visiting a car dealer the week prior, Mrs. Hewlett entered a shoot-to-win contest sponsored by the company, and her name was selected as a finalist in the contest in which participants are given the chance to shoot and win. But Mrs. Hewlett hadn't even held a hockey stick in her life, yet alone shoot a puck. She put on a helmet, walked nervously to one end of the ice rink, and took a few practice swings, and in one unbelievable shot, sent the puck sailing into the puck-sized hole at the other end of the rink, and the crowd goes wild. The announcer made no attempt to contain his excitement either. As the puck got closer to the goal and looked like it might go in, he let out a high-pitched scream. No one could make that shot, well, no one except for Mrs. Hewitt. The prize? A 2012 Ford F-150 4x4 truck. Steve Flagg finds his mother. Now, who doesn't love a feel-good moment like this? Family reunited. For years, Michigan's Steve Flagg, a delivery truck driver at a local store, had searched for his birth mother. At 18, and with the blessing of his adoptive parents, he began the search. He started at the Grand Rapids agency that had handled his adoption. After more than three years with no luck, he realized he was spelling her last name wrong. He put the proper spelling in a search engine, and Christine Tality, living at an address not far from his own home, became a possibility. Plus, she was close to the store he worked at, but that's where Steve Flagg's four-year search for his birth mother ended, at his actual job. He was a co-worker with his birth mother, and neither of them had any idea. His mother was in the office, the co-worker he knew casually in passing, turned out to be the woman who gave him up for adoption after his birth 22 years ago. For Flagg, it was the reunion he had always dreamed of. He had always known he was adopted, and his parents, who raised him since his birth, supported his decision. It was a tough decision for his birth mother to give him up, but she just wasn't ready to be a mother. <laughs> Best Friends Lottery Win This amazing footage went viral of the life-changing moment when five Canadian friends confirmed they had become multi-millionaires. And after handling the attendance the lottery ticket, the tickets get scanned and the stunned employee double-checks their numbers. They had five winners! The lucky guys had been splitting lottery tickets for years, ever since they'd all worked together. And after time, the five had become close friends, traveling together and socializing outside of work. They'd seen each other get married and had nine children between them. And the whole time, each week, they took a turn buying the lottery ticket, split five ways, praying for a windfall. It was Brian Redmond's turn to buy the ticket, but he almost forgot. With his gas tank approaching empty, Redmond stopped at a gas station and grabbed a quick pick lotto ticket just hours before the draw. It would end up being a very lucky winner indeed. On Friday the 13th, too, for Redmond's car to run low on gas. When he confirmed the massive lottery win, Redmond got back in his car, locked the doors, and started trying to call his friends to break the news about their $60 million grand prize. If split evenly, the men would receive roughly $12 million each, before taxes, of course. <coughs> Woman Dodges Axe At this axe-throwing venue, you can drink and throw axes safely at a bullseye, and places like this have sprung up all over the world. Usually, for safety, the venues will have an impact board, which helps stop the axe from popping back up. The bar this very lucky girl went to, however, did not. And as you can see, she threw the axe too hard and it struck the bottom of the wall, causing it to bounce back dangerously. At this particular axe throwing venue, Ainsley Ray's close encounter with the blade after it bounced off the wall almost struck her head. The woman could have been killed. The video was posted on social media by her boyfriend and naturally it went viral. She shared the video herself saying, that axe almost got me. At this particular venue, while all guests are required to sign waivers, they're also paired with coaches who gave them safety training before they participate in any axe throwing. In this case, Ray's coach was standing just off screen. The camera also doesn't fully capture the arc of Ray's out of control axe, which showed that it hit the ground handle side down, bouncing off the floor first, then the wall, and then over her head. It was luck, not her athletic ability that really saved her. Hold my beer. 
Maybe you hadn't heard of the punk rock band John Coffee before now. It's possible that this singer's beer-saving catch of all time during a music festival appearance changed that forever. They might just become your new favorite band if you haven't seen this clip. Frontman David Actor De Molin started crowd surfing, literally walking on the shoulders of the fans near the front of the stage. The moment was caught on camera when the singer managed to catch a beer thrown by a fan from long range. And what do you do when that happens? You finish drinking the beer, that's what you do. The clip did spark controversy. Some suggested the beer wasn't beer and maybe something dangerous and undrinkable. Said the singer, it was beer because we talked to the guy and he could confirm it. Speaking to the local press, the individual who threw the beer, Niels Vell de Ham, said, everyone looked around at me and said, that was you, huh? And he went out and got himself a replacement beer. And if the music career doesn't pan out, the singer with the epic beer catching skills could always take up sports. John Coffey from the Netherlands got their name from a character from the 1999 movie The Green Mile. The Perfect Bowls Shot No one knows how to create a buzz over obscure sports like British sports fans, and this time the Brits lost their minds over this incredible sport highlight, which comes to us from the World Indoor Bowls Championships. How exactly the bowler made this hard-to-believe shot for the win, we're not sure. With rival Scotland set to be the victor, with a host of their ball surrounding the jack, Nick Brett just had to go for it, with some guidance from his teammate. Brett and partner were taking on a team from Scotland, trailing 5-4 in the first set. With just a little wiggle room to slide between the Scottish team's balls and nestle against the jack, Brett had only one option. As he stepped up to roll the ball, the commentator said, there's about a six inches between the two bowls, so there's just enough room, sparking laughter amongst the crowd. Embarking on the impossible, Brett sent the ball through to a win. He pulled off arguably the best shot of all time with about six inches between the two bowls. Just enough room. There was an audible gasp from the arena as the ball gently nestled against the jack. The commentator called it ridiculous and outrageous as a round of applause erupted in the stadium. The Legend of Bill Morgan Is it possible to die, come back to life, then win the lottery twice? This lucky son of a gun Australian man did just that. He cheated death, surviving a car crash and heart attack before falling into a coma and went on to win the lottery not once, but twice. Back in 1998, truck driver Bill Morgan was involved in a truck accident that nearly crushed him. He survived the crash but suffered a heart attack as a result, ultimately causing his heart to stop. After being clinically dead for more than 14 minutes, Bill was revived but remained comatose and eventually doctors advised his family to take him off life support. It's a good thing they didn't though. Miraculously, after 12 days, Bill woke up and eventually made a complete recovery. He eventually got a new job and proposed to keep his girlfriend who happily accepted. He purchased a scratch-off ticket and instantly won a car. A local television station in Melbourne decided to tell Bill's story and asked him to return to the store to reenact the buying and scratching of his winning ticket. However, when Bing filmed scratching a duplicate card, he found he had an even bigger win on his hands, another $250,000 captured on live television. Those were the 15 luckiest people caught on camera. Thanks for watching.